This is Frankie Mason from Victoria returning to risk a state-of-the-art music centre valued at $4,838. Tonight, we're offering a complete table setting valued at $15,000. A 10-day trip for two to Egypt worth $23,000. The magnificent Audi 100 V6 and a cash jackpot of $54,000. All on the world's richest quiz, Sale of the Century. And now, here's the star of the show, Glenn Ridge. Thank you very much, Peter. Uh, hello, everyone. How are you? Nice to see you all with us. Hello, and welcome to Sale. Hello to all the kids from the Drysdale Primary School, too, who are joining us. It's good to see. And also, it's nice to see our carryover champ back again. How are you, Frankie? I'm really well, thanks, Glenn. Nice to see you. Now, I heard that you would like to live in London. We'd like to spend a year in London and travel on travel through Europe and so on, yes. And just work your way around? Yeah, maybe do some um, relief teaching or something like that. Yeah? yeah? Oh, good luck. We might be able to help you along the way with some cash never or something. Know. You never know. Play very well on Friday night. Back Thank again, you. so good luck tonight, Frankie. Two more challenges, and to tell us who they are once again, here's the stunning Nikki Buckley. Yeah. Hello, Nikki. How are you? Nice to See you. You too. Hope Hi, you everybody. Had a, hope you had a nice weekend. Yes, nice and relaxing. Did you know today is World Population Day? Really? I did. And you know that there are nearly, what, over four and a half billion people in this Five world. and a half billion, I Five think. Five and a half. Just increased, just like just that. Just including a few people yeah. around here. Five and a half billion people. So that's what that's we have lot. to be aware of today. Mm. I assume that's what World Population so Day is. Does it mean people should get out populating? Uh, oh, no, no. Can I just quickly mention my tie? Have a look oh, at this. A bit corny. A bit corny, corny, isn't it? Yes, I'm feeling a bit husky today. I've got all those. G'day, copper. Isn't it amazing? But have a look at that. That's from uh, Formosetti Ties. Pop. Yeah, which are, are great. Oh, <laughs> snap, crap, on pop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing tonight? Tonight, our first challenger carries the title of Mr Natural Australia, 1993. From Coniston, New South Wales, we welcome Colin Coates. Hello, Colin. Glenn, I'm sure our second challenger can make beautiful music. She's a music teacher from Pakenham, Victoria. Let's welcome Sue Slattery. Hello, Sue. Nice to see you with us also. A little bit of a singer as well, I believe. Uh, yes, not professionally. <laughs> well, how would you like to say... Nikki often sings on the show yeah. and sings very, very well, I must hmm. say. Thanks, oh, let's hear sure. Nikki. <laughs> what can you sing for us? Oh, no, look, I'm not a soloist. I used to sing in a choir. Love singing in choirs and I have a choir at my school now. I see. Can't Just... even do the Collingwood football theme song or anything like that? Please. Oh, sorry. Good luck tonight, Sue. Red side, black the other. Thank you. <laughs> now, Colin, um, the title of Mr Natural, what does that exactly mean? Uh, well, the actual competition was drug tested at the time. It was actually held in Melbourne here at the oh, Dallas Book Hall. Um, last year it was tested. It's uh, a bodybuilding thing. Yes, bodybuilding titles, yes. Yeah. Uh, tested but with a lie detector test. No. So, okay, and but does Mr. Natural mean it's like a more natural sized body, not hugely pumped up? Or? Well, done without the uh, use of performance enhancing drugs. Yeah, so they oh. test it very thoroughly to make sure that everyone's above board yes. and there's no use of yes. steroids or anything yes. like that. Great idea. Well, good luck with that, Colin, and congratulations, oh, yes. we should say, too. Good oh, luck yes. with tonight. $20 starting money to all of our players. We're going to get into it. I'll get out there. Good and luck, And we'll everybody. see you in the gift shop with one of my favourite cars. OK, here we go. Question one, round one. Based on the book by Roald Dahl and starring Gene Wilder, was the 1971 film Sue? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? No, Willy Wonka and the Watts. Now, unfortunately, you got it a little bit wrong there with the extra information. Chocolate Factory was all we really needed, though. Which country is the top Asian destination for Australian tourists? Frankie. Indonesia. Yes. In law, having sworn to tell the truth is to be on or under Frankie. Oh. Yes. Here's a visual question. Take a look at your monitors. This is the funeral of a sect leader of which Frankie? Jewish. That's right. So to be uh, exact, the Lubavitch uh, Jews. And that was the rabbi world leader, the grand rabbi world leader, Rabbi Menachem Schneerson in New York. By which acronym do we know the National Institute of Dramatic Arts? Sue? NIDA. Correct. From the action of preparing it comes what term for seasoned breadcrumbs placed in a chicken or turkey? Frankie? Stuffing. Stuffing is correct, yes. Gift shop time. Frankie, you have the opportunity to buy here. You're on $40, $20 ahead of Colin and Sue. And here's Nikki. Frankie, when you're a mega media superstar like Jimmy here, you just naturally expect the best. And that's why he drives this fantastic Maxi Ferrari. Powered by a 12 volt battery and including a charger, it's normally $1,300, but tonight it's only $6 from Itel Products and Sale of the Century. Go, Jimmy! Yeah, got it. One of my great little cars, the Ferrari. Fantastic. Um, now, the kids are 16 and 17 at the moment, aren't they, Frankie? That's right. 
Um, oh, well, they could squeeze it. in there. Um, <coughs> would you like to buy it? Is there anyone else in the family made for five dollars? Be a fantastic Christmas present. No, five dollars. No. Even my nephews are in their teens now, so I really I don't think so. five dollars, mm. four dollars. Going once, going twice. Do we want to sell it, Jimmy? Do we want to sell it or not? <laughs> Oh, we do. All right. Four dollars going three no, times. No so. sale. Sorry, Jimmy. Next oh. time, mate. We'll try a little better. So the scores now remaining the same. Frankie leading on forty dollars as we get back to the questions. When something is obvious or logical, it is said to stand to Frankie. Reason. Stand to reason. Yes. Used for controlling the movement of clockwork is which swinging device? Frankie. Pendulum. Yes. What do we call a person who can turn their hand to anything but Sue? Jack of all trades. That's right, but who has no one special skill. Jack of all trades, master of none. Tonight on the, uh, the Fame Game, we do have a major prize once again, and it's a fantastic trip for two people to Holiday Inn in Cairns, follow, uh, flying Qantas the Australian Airlines, and the value of that trip is $3,608. So that's behind one of our famous faces. Now, who am I? Born in the United States in 1937, I acted in amateur productions directed by my mother, a drama coach. A construction worker, I made a slow start in television shows before appearing opposite Natalie Wood in Splendour in the Grass. During the early 70s, my prodigious love life, Sue. Warren Beatty. I am Warren Beatty, that's correct. Went on to uh, Dick Tracy, Bonnie and Clyde. Best Director Oscar for Reds, just to name a few of his uh, accomplishments. Now, Sue, you have the opportunity to also pick up $10 behind one of our famous faces, and tonight those faces are... Roger Rabbit. In Walt Disney's World on Ice, currently touring Australia. Lisa Hensley. Laura the Land returns tonight. Ray Martin. A Current Affair. Denzi Klein. Birch Backyards. John Nasita. John comes from South Curl in uh, South Curl Curl, I should say, New South Wales. And John's hobbies are swimming and playgroups. So good to have you with us, John. Jane Lees. Frazier. Ken Sutcliffe. Sports Sunday. Jackie McDonald. The Midday Show with Darren Hinch. And Dennis Hopper. In the film Speed. Sue, that's the choice. Who would you like? Uh, Denzi Klein, thanks. Denzi Klein from Burke's Backyard. Here's a set of books of interest, Sue. This Childcraft edition is valued at $399 from World Book. It's a nice prize, Sue. And we've got an all right sort of game on our hands. Frankie, you're leading by $25. That's round one. Still a long way to go, though. And we'll be back shortly with round two. Sunday night at the movies. Who was that, Amber? A couple of streetwise brothers <laughs> scamming their way to big time bucks. Mo money, Mo money. The outrageous action comedy Mo Money premieres 8:30 Sunday on Win. Grand cereal. It's the healthy way to start the day. Full of fiber, protein, and energy. Mm. And my horse loves it. I prefer my bran with uh, a lot more taste. Wheat Bix High Bran has two dessert spoons of bran in every biscuit. And it's tasty. <laughs> Wheat Bix High Bran. Don't just eat bran, enjoy it. Parents, if you're worried about your children's academic progress, there's now a comprehensive yet affordable program available to assist students to become more independent, self-confident and knowledgeable. The Kumon Institute of Education has been helping children for over 40 years. Our proven approach helps them develop the skills they need to become better students. Call Kumon now. They'll put you in touch with your nearest supervisor who will explain how the unique Kumon program can vastly improve your child's academic abilities. Mm, you're looking good. Price Attack, stockers of all national brand hair care and cosmetics celebrate their grand opening with this unbelievable offer. The first 250 customers purchasing anything over a dollar will receive free a $30 hair care sample bag. That's a $30 sample bag free with any purchase over a dollar. Be there. Price Attack's grand opening. The new blinds and the selection of contemporary security doors look no further than Prescott Blinds and Doors in two locations, Kyra and Nara. The factory manufactures quality products at extremely low prices. Right now, you'll save 25% on heavy-duty security doors, 60% on a range of stylish vertical drapes. Prescott's have slashed 40% from the price of Venetian blinds and 30% from a choice of 34 different fabrics for Holland blinds. Plus, you receive free measure, quote, and, of course, insulation. Prescott Blinds and Doors in the Kyra Trade Centre and also Nara. leading on $50. Paul and Peter are the first names of which? Frankie. 
Peter, Paul and Mary. No, which Australian Wimbledon doubles winners in 1980 and 82 was Peter McNamara and Paul McNamee. Beginning with E and used in salads and as a cooked vegetable, Sue. Endive. That's right, is which herb uh, with finely divided curled leaves. Beginning with P is what term for the payment awarded to the companion of a broken permanent relation? Colin. Palimony. That's right, it's up to 25 and good to hear from you too, Colin. Same game, $15 being added to the board. We have $10 there as well. Who am I? Born in Scotland in 1888 and dying in 1946, I was unfit for military service and became superintendent at an electric power company. Later recovering from a breakdown and penniless, I used my engineering skills to set up a number of experiments which had the backing of wealthy store owner Gordon Selfridge. Although my work utilising telephone lines between London and Glasgow and Sue. Logie Baird. I am John Logie Baird, that's right, yes. Went on to create television, basically. John Logie Baird was the answer we needed. You're trailing Frankie by $15, Sue, so pick correctly here and you could be sharing the lead. Who would you like? Uh, I've got two little boys. I'd better go for Roger Rabbit. Please. I think you should. And there's $15. They're rats. And you're rats, $45 a piece. Uh, Colin, only four, to, uh, four questions off the pace, too. Back to them. Beginning with H is what other name for an air cushion vehicle? Colin. Up car. Yes. What is the French term for a kind of couch or reclining chair with its Sue? Chaise long. That's right, with its seat prolonged to form a full-length leg rest in the lead by five. Sue, what surname is shared by American General and President Andrew and English actress Glenda? Frankie. Jackson. Yes, 30 seconds fast money, tied for the lead. 30 seconds up on the clock and your time starts now. To whom is actor Bruce Willis married? Frankie. Um, oh. Demi Moore, in which country is Hamburg? Sue. Germany. Yes, beginning with C is which other term for birth control? Frankie. Contraception. Yes, uh, which cricketer is Australia's regular wicketkeeper? Frankie. Ian um, Marsh. Ian Healy. Bill Clinton was governor of which US state? Sue. Arkansas. Yes, beginning with B is which other name for the game Housey Housey? Frankie. Bingo. Yes, uh, which creatures are kept in an aquarium? Frankie. Fish. Yes, uh, what type of living thing is a junk or a flower or plant? And Sue, you're leading after 30 seconds fast money. Only by $5, though. So it's a close game. You're on 60. Frankie's on 55. Colin's on 30. And we've got some really beautiful clothes here to try and sell to you with Nikki. Sue, you'll always be ready to party with this gorgeous range of dresses. First, we have Jody in a forest green dress with spaghetti straps. Next is Paula in a black Georgette dress with lace detail and a handkerchief hem. And final, finally, Lavinia in a stunning red dress with crossover spaghetti straps and a cropped jacket. Australian made from the finest fabrics, your choice which may comprise three dresses, would normally cost you $2,000, but tonight they're only $10 from Studi Baker Hawk and Sale of the Century. Don't the girls look beautiful? Lovely. Spaghetti straps. Yes, like those. Are they spaghetti mm. straps? Like spaghetti. Yes. Sue, um, you will look stunning in them. It's a close game, only five dollars a head. We'll take nine dollars. I'll take a dollar off. Nine dollars. Going once. I don't think so, thanks, Glenn. Eight dollars going twice. Not quite my style. Thank going you. that's a fairly determined going three to can't can I no. entice you with money or anything? Mm. No, mm. no, no sale. <laughs> we'll get you out of that. No sale. You're leading by five dollars still, still on sixty dollars. And our home viewers question, time for that. What are the four C's that denote the value of a diamond? We'll tell you after the break. <laughs> Goody Tuesday, a surgical slip-up. We gave him a circumcision. The butt of all jokes. Anyone who says what's up goes down. Married with children. 30 days without sex. What's that like? The Bundys at Highland Place, Tuesday on Wim. The one morning we can lie in, our daughter comes in crying. She snapped that rich boy Ray, now his folks are on their way. What a rude awakening, the house looked like a break-in. With spray and wipe all purpose, I cleaned up every surface. Spray and wipe works faster, on baked, on grease and pasta. We sailed right through inspection, she can see her own reflection. So thank you, spray and wipe. Hobby World Travel, the travel professional. Escape to glory.
a Phuket? Yes, you can. With Harvey World Travel and Club Andaman Beach Resort. Lie on golden beaches and spoil yourself silly for 12 days, including one night in Bangkok from only $1,359 with airfares, accommodation and transfers. Phuket? You bet you can. See your local Harvey World Travel now. Harvey World Travel, the travel professionals. The Inlet, Bay and Basin Times is giving their readers from Huskisson to Sussex Inlet the chance to win a brand new Daihatsu mirror, supplied by South Coast Daihatsu Aladala. Simply send in the coupon from any June, July or August issue of the Times and the Daihatsu worth more than $11,500 could be yours. There's also weekly cash prizes of $50. The major prize is drawn on Saturday, September the 3rd, so pick up a copy of the Times this Wednesday and check the details. You could be a lucky Times reader. By now, you've received this, the other whiz on two wheels. It's a specially designed recycling bin from the Wollongong City Council. Every fortnight, all recycling items will be collected. It's easy. One side is for paper and cardboard, the other side is for bottles, jars, cans and so on. If you're still unsure what can be recycled, just check this recycling kit that was delivered with your whiz. This is your chance to show your commitment to the environment like Wollongong City Council. Don't forget, every fortnight, you can be a whiz for the environment like me. McCain has a tasty pizza snack. They call it Pizza Pockets. McCain! Pizza Pockets! Ah, McCain, you've done it again. Pizza Pockets! Time to ask questions for the break. What are the four C's that denote the value of a diamond? There's cut, carrot, clarity, and colour. Now, the score's here. Sue leading on $60, Frankie on $55, Colin on $30. This is the cash card round, so possibly we could giving, uh, be giving someone five grand cash. Into the questions. What colloquial term for an old-fashioned person is also the remark... Frankie. Party daddy. No, nearly there. Of an, old, of, an, <laughs> of an animal or plant from a former geological age was the rest of the question. A fossil. What do we call someone who gains unauthorised access to the information stored on an... Sue. On an organization's computer, a hacker. hacker. In the book of Exodus, who, beginning with J, succeeded Colin? Uh, Job. <laughs> oh, no, not quite. Uh, succeeded Moses as leader of the Israelites, Joshua. Ile de France is the former name of which island in the Indian Ocean, beginning with M? Sue. Mauritius? Yes, into the lead by $10 as we go to play the pokies. Do you need five grand, Sue? Thank because you. you have the opportunity to play. You're $10 ahead of Frankie and you're $35 ahead of Colin. If you want to play, it's going to cost you $15. So keep that in the back of your mind. We have $5,000 on one machine. We'll reimburse $15 on another. And another has this great prize. After a tough day on the footy field, every champion needs some time to reflect and recap. And where better to do it than in your own personal spa? This Goya Corner Spa Bath has gold jets and features the effective hydrojet system, including $500 towards installation. It's valued at $2,700 from Radiant Beauty Wear and Sale of the Century. It's a nice prize, Sue. Great prize. But as I say, there's also $5,000 there. The other machine will have the Audi on it as well. So uh, what would you like to do? Would you like to risk $15? Like to give it a go? Okay, sacrificing your lead. Back to 45. You are still only trailing by one question, though, Sue. Four machines, hearts, spades, clubs and diamonds. Which would you like to play? Clubs, please. You like to play clubs? Okay. Clubs over this side. We haven't given the five grand away. No, for we haven't. Have we, Nikki? Good luck, Sue. Good luck, Sue, for sure. Here okay, giving it a spin, and it's come up on oh, the prize. Yeah. Sue, got a fantastic bar. Where's the money, though, Nikki? Now your end with the hearts. The hearts. The hearts does it every time, doesn't it? So there you go, there's the $5,000. And the scoreline now, Frankie 50, Sue 45, and Colin on 25 as we continue. Called Miraflores are the locks near the Pacific Ocean entrance of which canal? Colin. Panama Canal. Correct. By what name do we know the philosopher known to the Chinese as Kong Fu... Sue. Confucius. That's right, Kong Fu Zi or Confucius. What do we call the several hundred planetoids with uh, orbits lying... Colin. Satellites. No, orbits lying mostly between those of Mars and Jupiter, asteroids. Beginning with O is what one word term for the general cost of running a business? Colin. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> the overheads, the old overheads. Chance to pick up some money from the fame game board with $25 in the wild card being added, who am I? Born in Melbourne in 1856 and dying in 1919, I was a lawyer and journalist before being encouraged by David Syme of the Age newspaper to stand for the Victorian Parliament. 
Holding many positions, including that of Solicitor General, I attended the 1887 London Colonial Conference where my objections to the patronising attitude of British ministers led me to promote federation. As Attorney General, I replaced Barton as Prime Minister and went on to serve two more terms as the country's leader, shaping... Frankie. Deacon. I am Alfred Deacon, that's correct. <laughs> Alfred Deacon, the man we needed. Probably in the nick of time, Frankie, because you're sharing the lead on 50 with Sue. We have the uh, Mad Minute following the break, and all the money bar $15 is there. So who would you like? Uh, I like Jackie McDonald. Jackie McDonald, lovely lady. And there's $25. Whoa, how to get the money? Take you up to 75 Where was the rest of it, Nikki? The wild card was with Ray Martin, and Lisa Henley Hensley had the $10. That's where the money was. The champ is leading. A little help from the Fame Game board, but that's the game. And we'll be back shortly with the Mad Minute after this break. <laughs> Side effects? How can there be side effects? I mean, it's just a great way to start Saturday night. It makes me feel good. Anyway, if there were side effects, I'm sure you wouldn't notice them. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. You can't keep a straight face. Parents, if you're worried about your children's academic progress, there's now a comprehensive yet affordable program available to assist students to become more independent, self-confident and knowledgeable. The Kumon Institute of Education has been helping children for over 40 years. Our proven approach helps them develop the skills they need to become better students. Call Kumon now. They'll put you in touch with your nearest supervisor who will explain how the unique Kumon program can vastly improve your child's academic abilities. Hey, it's Mr. Bucket. That's right. I'm Mr. Bucket. I'm Mr. Bucket. The ball pop out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Bucket. A ball is what I'm about. I'm Mr. Bucket. Whee! We're all gonna run. I'm Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket from Milton Bradley. Buckets are fun. The great crazy clearance of family footwear at Comfort Shoe X. Selected Sandler shoes, a low $39.95. Easy steps, just $49.95. Diana Ferrari, great value, only $49.95. Beat this, selected fashion boots, just $69.95. These great leather shoes, $29.95. Comfs Comfort, selected styles, $89.95. Selected Clark shoes, less than half price, $19.95. Huge savings, great bargains, the great crazy clearance at Comfort Shoe X, where the savings are legendary. You can find your dreams. Yes, dreams do come true. Beachwood Homes have introduced the $10,000 winter bonus bonanza. There's $10,000 worth of quality inclusions at no extra cost. Plus, Beachwood Homes have slashed up to $8,000 of selected designs. There's never been a better time than right now to visit your nearest Beachwood Display Village. Shell Harbour, East Nowra, Albion Park and Barrel. Baby peas must be picked at exactly the right moment for maximum sweetness, tenderness, and nutrition. Take care of these babies for me, will you? Beautiful. <laughs> McCain baby peas. Ah, hey, McCain. Bert. You've oh, done oh, it hey, again. Last battle of the Mad Minute once again with Frankie leading on $75. Let's find out how it's going to end up. 60 seconds up on the clock. Good luck, everyone. Your time starts... Now, which zodiac sign is represented by the scales? Sue. Libra. Yes. Born in which country was actor Keith Michel? Frankie. Australia. Yes. In which Australian state or territory is Wade Rock? Frankie. South Australia. Western Australia. Which ology is the study of skin diseases? Frankie. Dermatology. Yes. Around what part of the body would you wear a boa? Frankie. Your neck. Yes. Uh, which English admiral captained the Golden Hind? Colin. <sighs> no. Gone. Sir Francis Drake. Who was vice president under John F. Kennedy? Sue. Johnson. Yes. Uh, what colour is St George's Cross? Frankie. Red and white. Just red. Uh, with which of the arts do we associate Enrico Caruso? Sue. Singing. Yes. Uh, time is called the what dimension? Frankie. Fourth dimension. Yes. Do yabbies live in fresh or salt water? Colin. Fresh. Yes. England's King William the First was also called William the what? Sue. Conqueror. Yes. Uh, which cereal company is famous for its rice bubble? Colin. Kellogg's. Yes. Uh, which Nobel Prize was won by Germany's Billy Brands? Colin. Peace Prize. Yes. Uh, used. And at the end of it all, the champs come through. Frankie on $85 has come through. Congratulations. Well done, Frankie. Just to clear that up, Frankie, the question was, what colour is St George's Cross? 
and just the cross is red. So we can't accept the white in there as well. That extra okay. information made and correct, <laughs> but she still won exactly. Well played, Frankie. And so you did very well tonight. Um, the kids are going to be happy. You've got the children's books and the spa, a little over three thousand dollars worth. Well done. Nice to have you with us, Lee. Eh? Thank you. Colin, unfortunately, no prizes tonight, but good luck with the bodybuilding in the future. Exactly. Thank you. Peter has these gifts for you and Sue, Colin. Sue and Conan would each receive the latest Sale of the Century board game from Crown and Andrews, plus our 18-carat gold-plated pin from Shimani Jewelry and Sale of the Century. Frankie, congratulations. Well Thanks, done. Frank. You played very well. It's always nervous starting off the week, very isn't nervous, it? Yeah. You did.